Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. This week, Sutton Sign Writing Core, Part 4, Sign Writing in Unicode. As always, go ahead and hop over to our Gitter open chat. I'd love to hear from you. We got some great feedback and some great input. You should check it out. We've talked about formal sign writing in ASCII before, and that is what these characters are up here. This is the encoding that we use. It needs to be transformed so that you can actually get the visual output for reading. Sign writing in Unicode has the same information, but it's a lot more visual. And this is our actual text. If we look down in here, we have the same output. Unicode, a little bit complicated. There is an excellent YouTube video you should watch. It's about half hour, but it's called Pragmatic Unicode, or How Do I Stop the Pain? You really need to know about UTF-32, UTF-16, and UTF-8. Unfortunately, JavaScript does use UTF-16, so it has some ex extra complications, but we'll get into that. Um, we are going to be using the sign writing core for this episode. Um, we'll specifically be focusing on the SWU module, which has all of these functions. Um, there's also the uh, convert mo module that we'll be using it has additional functions to use. And if you look up for two SWU, you can find all the convert functions that convert to sign writing in Unicode. Or you can do the opposite of SWU to find out all the functions where sign writing in Unicode can be converted into other things as well. The first thing that we need to do is get the font for the sign writing in Unicode. Um, you can go to the Sutton Sign Writing Project and go to the font page. On the font page, the font that we're going to want is the Sutton Sign Writing 1D font. Um, you can easily install it on Windows, Mac, and Linux. There's also instructions for installing on iOS. Uh, in case you uh, people don't have the fonts installed, we have a CSS statement that we're going to copy here. And we'll be using that. If you go over to codesandbox.io, um, and we're just going to create a, a vanilla sandbox, this is an excellent website where it actually gives you a VS Code editor that you can use. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the style.css. And we are going to paste our font face so that we can access the Sutton Sign Writing 1D. Um, we're going to want to copy the name of that font, and we're going to want to replace the font family for the page. All right. Go back to the uh, index page. Now, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to change this statement here into a function. So we're going to let append equals, um, I'm going to pass it some text, and we're going to give it to the function. We're going to do document, get element by ID with app. We're going to set that plus equals to, and it's going to be our text, plus, we're going to just pass it a line break. All right, so we have a dependency. So we're going to go over here, scroll down to add dependency. We are going to be using the Sutton Sutton Sign Writing Core, right there. It's loading, loading, perfect. Now, before we can use it, we need to import it. So we're going to import star from, sorry, star as core from at Sutton Sign Writing. All right, now we can use it. Let's start with 
the first one. We're going to say let id equals 1. Every symbol in the Sutton sign writing uh, font has an id. And this is going to be the first one. So then we're going to let SWU equal to, now we need the core.convert.id to SWU. We pass it the ID. Now let's append our SWU. And we can see that we have our symbol that appeared. Let's make that a little bit bigger. I'll go to uh, the CSS. And we'll do a font size. Let's do uh, 45 px. Excellent. Now, we can do the same thing for FSW. So we're going to let FSW equals core.convert.id to FSW and pass it the ID. And we can also end FSW. Oh, what don't you like? Hmm. It's ID to key. All right. So if we look at these, we can also get the length. The length of our SWU is two, but the length of our FSW is at six. Now it's pretty easy to see why the length of our FSW uh, symbol key is six. You can just count the characters. But when we try to count the character here, it's actually only one character. And that's because every character in SWU actually needs two characters of UTF-16. Now we can also say type of. What is the type of SWU? Uh, SWU, that's a string, just as the type of FSW is also a string because we are dealing with text here. Now, like I said, this is our text, so we can actually copy this. And let's change it. So let's say SWU equals double quotes and paste in our character. Now you can see our SWU character actually did show up in our text editor. This is VS Code. What you're going to want to do to see this is File, Preferences, Settings. And in the settings, if you search for font, you can see that I added Sutton Sign Writing 1D to the font family that the editor uses. And that's why in our file, we actually can see sign writing in Unicode character. All right, let's get a bigger string. So we'll take this first sign and we'll copy that. Let's get rid of everything. We paste our, that in. Oh, I didn't grab the whole string. There we go. We'll go back over to our editor. Now we're going to say SWU. We're going to put the whole string in there. Hmm, let's see. What should we do that's fun? Well, there's just the convert. So we're going to say FSW equals core.convert.fs. Oh, sorry, SWU to FSW. We pass in the string. And we can see that they both are strings. Here's our converted string, but we can also do that length of. Length of 40 and dot. And our FSW is length of 85. Let's see, one last interesting thing to do is there is an encode and a decode that you can use with the core package. So let's 
say that our encoded value equals core.swu.encode and pass it the SWU. And so let's check that out. Append encoded. And you can see we have a very long string. Let's simplify this. And we're just going to bring it down to that individual handshake. And we can actually just get rid of that. There we go. So here's our SWU character. It is two characters long. And these are these, the actual two characters. This is called UTF-16. What we can also do is we can let decoded equals core.sdu.decode. We can pass that encoded value. And then append decoded. And you can see that we get our string back. So this is sign writing in Unicode. I totally, um, I would <laughs> urge you to go watch this pragmatic Unicode or how do I stop the pain because it really does explain a lot of the concepts. Um, also, when you uh, are looking at the sign writing core module, you can check out all of the SWU functions and all of them are well documented with examples and descriptions, how to use it. And then at the end, there is also that convert module. And the convert module, you can take individual parts of the sign writing in Unicode, and you can get all of the pieces and the parts that you need. So thanks for watching this week's episode. If you have any comments, questions, feel free to join our Gitter and we'll see what we can do. Take care.